Hey everyone, welcome back to Huckle Life on Switch. Excuse me, I feel like I'm getting a cold. I'm hoping not. Hoping not. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh, Gus Mio. Okay. Fishing tournament coming up. Um. I believe we need to get the pickaxe today and go get some iron ore is probably one of the biggest things we need to do. Yay. <clears throat> yeah, I should tell you not to go in there, but they are amazing. Cool. Lots of crafting recipes. We're all for that. No, I'll come look later. I got stuff to do, but thank you. I totally will. We still need to make another set of stairs for the other side. Um, we will do that after we get <clears throat> this part done. We won't get far because then it's gonna get too dark, but we, you gotta get to that first part. Um, well, I mean, I guess we could instead of just getting a bunch of... We really need to get to the second level first. Um, Come back here. Hmm. I don't know why one always gets on that other side. So, I know we got rocks. Um, coal probably. Yep. I don't want to get over to this area so that it'll tell me it's dark. So we can speed that process up a little bit faster. It's a bit too dark. <clears throat> Her hairstyle's kind of growing on me a little bit. Still not a hundred percent sure, hundred percent sure I like it, but it is growing on me a little bit. I knew it. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist heading into the mine. How was it? Pretty great, huh? Dark. Dark? Oh. Yeah, it gets pretty dark in there. Tell you what, I know the thing that can help you. Come with me and we'll sort it out. Okay. 
thing is, I don't know if I have a lot of wood. When I used to go looking for ores, um, I had lanterns, okay? So you can plonk them down here and there and they'll keep the place nice and bright for you. That way you won't miss any ores. Or some. <laughs> here you go. Thank you. Okay, so, um, I got a little bit of wood. Um, it takes coal instantly. We're only going to be able to make two. Because what we need is coal. <clears throat> we have everything else, so we just need more coal. That's fine. We will just uh, go back up there now. Now we'll go get a bunch of stuff so that we can make more lanterns. So as far as coal, we've got nine, okay. The coal is pretty easy to get. It's the iron ore that's a little bit more scarce to get. So before we go down there, because we only got two lanterns, let's go see if we can make some more. And as per usual, we need to get money up so that we can get another house going. That's kind of a same old, same old, everyday thing in Hook All Life. <clears throat> I wonder if it would be more advantageous right now to just move these stairs over to this side. And then we'll make another set for on the other side. I think that would probably be a better idea. Since we're going to continue to go to Sally's workshop a lot. It just kind of makes sense. <clears throat> mm. 
And we can make three more. Yeah, it's the coal. Okay. Yep, I think that's going to be easier for now. tired I'm sorry you guys I may not be as talkative right now I just kind of woke up from a nap so I'm kind of still trying to wake up <clears throat> I know I'm usually kind of rambly um to move over here. Thank you. <laughs> you need to get out of my way. You got a little bit of iron ore. To craft the steel, we need three more. We'll be, we'll be good. We did good that time. Okay, we should have enough to go make the steel needed so we can make the chair. That was kind of my ultimate goal right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We can do this. Okay. <laughs> cool. 
Moving right along. Yep. All right. That one is like the easiest chair to make ever. <laughs> I wish they were all that easy. <clears throat> okay, now I don't remember who asked for the chairs, so, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so to Oleander. Okay, Oleander. Here you are. Riley, look with that broken chair fixed. Oh, wow. This looks just like new. What a splendid job you've done. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thank you, Riley. Wow. He was actually nice. <laughs> Which is so unusual for Oleander. <clears throat> okay. Um. Ugh. As I say, I don't know if I'm awake enough to catch bu um, butterflies right now. I'm still trying to kind of wake up completely. Now, this was Nico, right? Yeah, okay. I thought so. I was just making sure. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get another set of stairs to make and put over there. Um, excuse me, Yara. I did not see where that went. Okay, could be blind. Oh. I guess we have um, stuff in our... What did we do? Insects will run away less. All right. Good. That's good. Um, I kind of want to put a couple butterflies in our house because I just think they're so pretty. Because we can catch more, right? Oh, I should have put some stuff in storage. Duh. I'll do that at the workshop, though, in the storage there. Once he gets his catalog open, I want to open. I want to get some more of those storage bins um, because I think they're really good and they're very pretty. And we probably need to check the inn. Okay. Now we have a little bit more room in our backpack. Which should help out a lot. <coughs> Excuse me so much. <coughs> Tell you what. It's that time of year. <sighs> For getting colds and stuff. I've been taking some cold medicine. I expect Laura still be coming soon. 
like now. Riley, great to see you. You know, you've been doing a lot for this town and I wanted you to say, I wanted to say that I'm really grateful. I think that now Rose has moved to town and we got our first new potential resident lined up. Things are really looking up around here. You've been so wonderful in helping that I don't have any worries about leaving things up to you a bit more. What do you say? Do you think you'll be okay to get on the responsibility of improving our town from here on out? Leave it to me. Okay. Yay. Me too. All right, Loris, darling. Darling, what a charming little town you all have here. Very cozy, very rustic. Thank you. Hmm, yes, sweetie. Don't you think your outfit is a little uninspired? What do you mean? I mean, sweetie, it's not exactly pushing any boundaries, is it now? Though I suppose it's not entirely unexpected. You've got no fashion store here, darling. I know. How about I set up shop here, bring a little pizzazz into this sleepy village? What do you say? Um, no need to say it, darling. I'm doing this for you. A terrific service, sweetie. This town won't know what hit it once I'm here. Thanks? I'll make the calls, gather my people. We'll get started building tomorrow, darling. No need to worry. Just a few more days looking like, well, yes, this will be good for you, sweetie. Okay. So Laura's will be moving in, so that'll be good. I love this little chair. We're getting it. We're getting it. Look at the little piggy. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that. That is so cute. Um, I don't know what else I came in here for. Uh, I've only got a few butterflies, but we'll sell them. Yeah, we'll have to work on making stairs and getting more stuff to sell to make some more money to build another house. We'll get there. I was like, I swear I saw a butterfly. Uh -huh. I was like, I know I saw one. I don't know where I saw it at. And Loris's building is being built. Well, girl. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm just not going to try that hard if you don't want to be caught. <laughs> and of course, they probably don't want to be caught, but. <laughs> And you guys, you know, somebody told me once um, when I was live streaming our new save file that they admired that I kept, I keep trying, I keep starting over. And you know, I admire that you all that keep coming back and watching my episodes of me starting over and over and over. <laughs> I appreciate you doing that. Hey, buddy. Very good day to you. Tell me about... No, I don't want to know about that. I already know about that. I thought maybe he would do a fishing challenge, but maybe he's not ready for that yet. And we have the fish, first fishing tournament coming up um, on the 17th. So, look, there's a shell over there. How many times have I said, I never see shells over there? Oh, it's butterflies that I don't see over there. Um, come here. We'll look at that now. Could you just come back this way?
Oh, Bhutan Glory. We hadn't gotten one of those yet. Okay. I've caught these all so many times in different playthroughs. I have no idea what I've caught and what I haven't caught in here. I mean, I could look, but I just... I mean, but why? <laughs> I'm going to catch them anyway for money, so... But yeah, I'm, I, I'm always kind of surprised and I feel like I'm deja vuing because I've caught the same one so many times over the different playthroughs. <clears throat> But it's all good. So there's lots of Kaiserheims. I feel like we want to get wood while we're up here too. So that we can um, make some more stairs. And so what does she do? She gets her pickaxe. Stop. At least we have um, a lot more trees. And we probably need to plant more just because uh, mayor merits. Mayor merits, you have to plant a lot of trees. And I figure, you know, that's okay because that's just a lot more wood, right? So why not? And you know, you get seeds. You get so many seeds anyway. It's not like you, it costs you anything um, to do this. And we need to buy some more flower seeds to plant too because that's other mayor merits is to get the flower seeds planted. So that'll be good for now. See, we just already got a mayor merit because we've just planted enough to get a mayor merit unlocked. So yeah, you, you always want to do that as well as the flowers. The more the better. Okay, money. We like money. Oh, but we got a full... Backpack as usual. Yeah, our backpack is just not real big yet because we haven't unlocked the next. I kind of want to put, um, isn't Oleander right here? Yeah, I kind of want to put the chair we got for Oleander over here. I think that would be perfect for him. Look what I got you, bud. We're even just going to put it right in front of your house. Look what I got you. That's so cute. That's perfect for him. He will enjoy sitting outside. Yeah, we definitely need to get our money up some more, but we can go pick up that money bag. That'll give us some more. Um, <clears throat> I love that you can just drop anything. It doesn't matter what it is, and it just stays there forever until you pick it up.
Looks like you have to go sit in your new chair. Hmm? See, yeah, that, that, that helped a lot, right? So let's go see if we can make another set of stairs for the other side. Um... planks okay of course I can make 14 <laughs> why am I always one shy did I have one in my backpack already though let me see before we go too far oh yeah we've, we've got enough Perfect. And of course, we'll need planks for the house too. But that's yeah. You know, that'll be we'll be fine on that. We'll have some trees growing back uh, pretty soon on the other side, on the left side of the map. So I'm not real worried about wood. Um, it's all good, and we got plenty of time. Um, not in any rush. I do think I want to go get some flower seeds. Um, perfect. All right. Um, now let's go get some flower seeds from Mossy. Because I think he had some purple ones in there. Whoop. Misjudged the way into town. <laughs> I think I saw purple flowers in there. Oh, they're red. Okay. You know, we can always get red. And that's the thing about um, flower seeds is they're, they're, they're always cheap. It's just a matter of now where we want to plant them. Now, in the old playthrough that we had going, I had put a tree in the middle of town. I later was told, and I'm not sure, not that I'm doubting you, um, but I'm not sure they said they couldn't remove it after they put it there. Um, so I don't know that I want to do that yet again if we'll never be able to remove it. Um, however, it doesn't really matter. Would we, when would we want to remove it? Like, why would we want to? If it's a decoration that will look good in all seasons because the tree will change colors, will it really matter if it stays there? These are just questions I'm asking myself. <laughs> out loud um I think we want to plant a tree right here too just because I think one there will look pretty <clears throat> I 
Okay, so I'm thinking um, I want to see if Oleander needs anything else. Um, <clears throat> didn't I tell you I'm allergic to small talk? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. <laughs> Me, anything. I'm tired of my home, so bored of the look. Could you help fix it up a bit inside? Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, so we need new wallpaper or I believe, um, what are you doing sitting in his chair? A friend of mine came off her board the other day, thought it was lucky she landed in a soft bed of flowers, till it turned out she was allergic. She'd been sneezing ever since. Need anything? Two yellow fabric dye. We're not doing that yet. No, no. Um, so I'm kind of thinking maybe um, wallpaper, but from what I have understood in Hoko Life, you could really put anything down in there, furniture, anything from Masa Shop. Um, doesn't matter. And when it says redecorate, it doesn't necessarily mean wallpaper or floor. Um, I've just always done that, but it doesn't have to be that. So it could really just be anything. Um, That's only 20 bucks. We're going to put that in there and see if that does it for him. Because if it does, that's a lot cheaper. <laughs> I'm all about cheap right now because, yeah, we're trying to save money. Um, what time is it? 17.20. So it's dinner hour. Okay, cool. This sitting here, I realize I'm just too old for this city. All these youngsters with their electronic thingamagummies, their digital what's-its, and virtual doohickeys. What's it all for? It's convenient. Convenient for whom? Not me, that's for sure. By the time I've worked out how to use one of those gizmos, I could have finished the task five times over myself. Maybe it's finally time for me to step back and enjoy the quiet life. Say, do you know if there's anywhere for sale around here? Move in. Why, well, yes, I think that would be a lovely idea. I better gra gather my things. All right. Because I don't think we really had anybody lined up for the next house, so that's perfect. Plus, you know, Ali Hinder's house is one of the first houses, which really has a lot of stuff in it already. It's kind of nice to just add something small. His home has such a homey feel to it anyway. I just don't know where I'd put it unless it could go up on the fireplace. At some point, I want to bother him. Ugh. No, it's not going to go up there. It would have been really pretty if we could have put it up on top. Um, we're just going to set it there. Now let's see if that, um, yep, that's all you had to do. It really kind of looks cute. Yeah, I want to borrow his fireplace so I can duplicate it when we get to that point. <clears throat> Benny told me the other day that I wasn't as grumpy as they thought. That's lovely, isn't it? That is very nice. You really helped me out there. I think I might just like my new home. Here's Rainbow Pocket T-shirt for you. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Cute! We got the new T-shirt. Yay. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, moving right along. We're getting, um, we're, we're getting there. Um, we still have the picnic bench and the bookshelf coming up. Um, we've got our little butterflies in here now, too, which is so cute. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and show it some support. Love y'all so much. I'll see you soon.